Welcome everybody to the SNN Network Canada virtual event. I'm your host, Robert Kraft, and thank you all for joining us for our next keynote presentation. I have the sincere, sincere pleasure of introducing Becky Popoff. She is the vice president at B. Riley Securities, she's a friend of the family for a long time, and we're so excited that she's here to do a presentation for all of you. So with that, Becky, take it away. Thank you so much, Bobby, and hello to everyone joining us today. I'm Becky Popoff, and I'm a vice president with B. Riley Securities. I work in our capital markets advisory group, which focuses on helping both domestic and international companies on achieving compliant access to the U.S. capital markets. First, I'd like to thank the amazing team at SNN for having me be a part of such a great event. I've known Shelley and Robert Kraft for the past 15 years, and they truly are top notch at what they do. We are so honored to be sponsoring today. I'll start with a quick overview on myself and my firm. B. Riley was formed over 20 years ago as a boutique, small cap stock research focused firm by our co-founders, Bryant Riley and Tom Kelleher. Our company is based in Los Angeles, California with offices across the United States. B. Riley Financial, our parent company, publicly listed on the NASDAQ exchange a little over five years ago through a reverse merger and now is a $1 billion market cap. I've been with B. Riley since 2016 and have seen firsthand how our company has evolved in a few short years. We brought the team over from Merriman Capital in August of 2016, and John Merriman is now our Chief Business Officer at B. Riley Financial. John and I work closely on a daily basis with all of our capital markets advisory clients. B. Riley has grown meaningfully, both organically and through a series of acquisitions. We now have one of the largest institutional sales teams for a mid-sized bank, a rapidly growing retail group, and we have over 1 billion in principal investments. So we're very much a merchant bank as well. Because of our growth, we've meaningfully expanded the services we can offer our clients. Slide four speaks to our affiliated companies under B. Riley Financial and the collaborative services we offer clients. This combination of firms under B. Riley is designed to be able to cater to our clients no matter what stage they are in, in their business life cycle. I sit within our investment banking affiliate, B. Riley Securities, which provides traditional investment banking sales and trading services. B. Riley's heritage and small caps is something that remains core to our DNA today. We are one of the few firms left that cater to this underserved market. B. Riley has a rich history of partnering with clients, helping them successfully access the capital markets they need, which brings me to what we're talking about today. The primary focus of my discussion is to really dive into the benefits for international companies who are already public on their home exchange and in achieving a cross trade in the US. I also refer to this as a dual quotation and how B. Riley can be a partner in that process through our OTC advisory practice. Although there are different paths to achieve cross trades, my focus is with companies looking to start their journey on OTC markets trading platform. My area of expertise at B. Riley is working with international companies in obtaining a dual quotation on the OTCQB or OTCQX, which I'll dive into the differences in a moment here. Now, as part of the approval process, OTC markets requires all companies work with a sponsor to obtain their US quotation. Now, as a qualified OTC sponsor, B. Riley works closely with issuers to navigate the process of obtaining a dual quotation on the OTC market. Ultimately, with the goal of providing issuers the ability to gain exposure and visibility in the US. We've turned our role as a sponsor into a full service advisory relationship around the OTC development process. Now, you might ask, why obtain a US ticker on the OTC market platform if you're already public in your home country? Well, while some U.S. investors can trade directly in a foreign company's local market, many U.S. investors may be unwilling or unable to trade and prefer to see quotes in U.S. dollars during their regular trading hours. And this is where the dual quotation process begins. We work with the issuer to create their U.S. ticker to give the U.S. investors the best and most efficient way to trade their stock. OTC Markets Group has established the OTCQX best market and the OTCQB venture market to offer companies the opportunity to build their visibility, expand their liquidity, and diversify their shareholder base on an established public market and without the rigid procedures common with an exchange listing. OTC Markets offers companies of all stages the right platform to create a transparent trading experience for their investors. 
whether you're in an international company establishing a secondary market in the US, a private company exploring options to going public through a direct listing, an existing public company aspiring to list on a national exchange, or a company seeking an effective alternative to the traditional exchange experience. As your OTC advisor, we can work with you to establish the best paths for you. A quick breakdown for you. For those that may be less familiar, OTC Markets Group's trading platform is an SEC registered alternative trading system and FINRA member broker dealer. The OTC QX is for established investor focused US and global companies and offers the best and most informed efficient trading. It is for companies that meet high financial standards. The OTC QB venture market offers early stage and developing companies the benefits of being publicly traded in the US with lower cost and complexity than a US exchange listing. The OTCQB is a great stepping stone to establishing an OTCQX quotation, which is ultimately where you wanna be if you qualify. Now the third market mentioned is the pink market, also referred to as the open market. At B. Riley, we really strive to educate the issuer on the process and benefits of quoting on the OTCQX or OTCQB versus going public on the pink market. Now, a common misconception issuers have is that pink is the most cost-effective solution. However, many broker-dealers are prohibited to trade a pink stock. Therefore, the issuer will not get the U.S. exposure, visibility, and liquidity they aim to see in their stock. And just recently, there was actually an SEC reform affecting pink companies. So if you're a public Canadian company with a pink symbol, you will be affected by this. So now more than ever, a QB or QX quotation is the perfect solution as it meets the SEC disclosure standards. And if pink companies don't make that move, they are at risk of losing their public quotation come September of 2021. The goal of working with companies in establishing an OTC cross trade is to introduce them to the US market so they can gain the visibility in their stock that they desire. This platform allows broker dealers just like us the ability to publish quotes and negotiate trades. Foreign issuers who are already publicly listed on their home exchange and strive for US exposure benefit greatly by being able to cross trade on the OTC. And for companies that qualify as a foreign private issuer, they may leverage their home country disclosure protocols through the SEC Exchange Act Rule 12G32B. Now, another major benefit to their system is cost. For prospective issuers, OTC can be a highly cost-effective solution when compared to an exchange listing. And under our Capital Markets Advisory Group, we've developed an OTC sponsorship practice for companies looking to trade on the OTC for this very reason. We want to provide them with a platform that brings them comfort as they enter the US. Now, Canada is the number one market I speak to on a daily basis. Just over the course of this year, I've worked with over 60 companies on their dual quotation, 90% of which were Canadian issuers, some of which were presenting at the conference, including Boardwalk Tech, O1 Communique, GBLT Corp, MCloud, ESE Entertainment, and many who I hope to speak with tomorrow. Now, the next slide gives you some perspective on the types of companies that choose to trade on the OTCQX, all very well-known names that have established their success with OTC Markets Trading Platform. We truly believe that being public shouldn't be difficult for companies looking to gain U.S. exposure. It is our goal at B. Riley to make the quotation process as seamless as possible in order for the issuer to have the best experience from start to finish and in the most efficient way possible. There are several steps involved in obtaining a U.S. ticker. Generally, that process starts with the filing of the FINRA 15C211. This is the market making application, which we complete on behalf of the issuer. Rule 15C211 regulates how and when a broker dealer can publish quotes. Once a 211 application clears, the company is issued a US ticker and immediately quoted on the pink market. From there, we finalize the quotation process with OTC markets to ensure the issuer is quoted on the appropriate tier with providing the sponsor letter as the final step in the application process. The entire process takes about two months to complete from start to finish. And throughout, we serve as a liaison between the company and FINRA and the company and OTC markets. I truly believe by developing a US quotation, issuers are getting access to so much more. And by quoting in the US, they're obtaining the visibility they aim to see in their stock. And as companies continue to grow, they've now established a relationship with a nationally recognized and highly ranked investment bank. I love working with issuers on this journey and hope to remain a partner as they continue to grow in the US. 
To that end, I've included slides about B. Riley Securities, including the banking products we offer, as well as the sectors we cover. Thank you so much for having me today. If you have any questions on how B. Riley can be the best partner for you, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you so much, Bobby and Shelly. Uh, it's been an honor to be here with you today, and I'm just really looking forward to meeting more people and having more conversations tomorrow. So enjoy your conference. Have a great day, and I hope to talk to you soon. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.